Fireflies have a very nice example here, where the female firefly does not fly, uh, but sits uh, on a tree in the jungle and watches the sky, and the male flies along, flashing a winking light at a rate that is characteristic of that species. When the female sees the right rate flying overhead, then she winks back, he recognizes this, and flies down to her. It's a beautiful way of bringing two very small animals together in a large tract of countryside. <coughs> There's the male. Started flashing as he flew off. You see the luminescent organ is at the back of his abdomen, flashing a characteristic message, rather like Morse code. And here is a female answering back. And in a moment, we'll see them side by side. There they are. They've met up, and they're still flashing away in a courtship signal. Now, it's been found that if you do this very carefully, you can use a small torch to pretend you're a female firefly and call the male down. The male has come down to the experimenter's hand there, and every time it flashes, he waits the for a moment and then flashes back. The firefly came over to the torch, and now he moved the torch and called it back. There can be a nasty end to that story, though, because the female fireflies of some species are very carnivorous, and they wink at males of other species. <laughs> so the male flies down, thinking he's found himself a girlfriend, to find he gets gobbled up. <coughs> it's really not nice. The way in which these animals make their light is extremely interesting, because they do it by a chemical process, mixing two chemicals together, uh, which then produces uh, a very great deal of light. I have here two such chemicals uh, that, when mixed, will produce light. I've always wanted to do this demonstration, and now's my chance. I'll pour them now into this funnel and just watch what happens. Isn't that beautiful? And it continues to glow in the big reservoir down here. Now, if I take the funnel, it's still quite cold. We're used to thinking of light sources as having to be hot. But this chemical reaction produces very little heat. All the energy of the reaction goes into the production of light. 